to WiseLink Academy. First things first, for today, we're going to be discussing an aspect um, in technical drawing known as um, in penetration, right? So, as you, as you can see the figure at the right hand side of the screen, our first tax days, that's um, five, uh, is in form of what's third angle projection. Why? Because the plan is up, why the elevation is down. So that is a form of third angle projection. Next, you need to note there is that um, that pipe, it is two pipe. Um, one is entering other in in what in an angle of what sixty degree, as you can see. Uh, my arrow indicating the stops. And um, to start with this, first things first, our first tax is what start with the plan, right? So the plan is going to be what delta of fifty. So Start with the plan, that's the first tax. First tax, start with the plan. This is the plan. I have, let's say, um, I have a line this way. Right, start with the plan. Come in. So, I'll take my set coin this way to draw a vertical line downward. Right, I send it down this way. So this is where it meets the center. The circle is going to be what the diameter of what 50. So I'll measure what the 50. As you can see what I'm doing. Measure of 50. So with the help of my um rule and my compass, measure out 25. So yeah, it is 0 to 25 at this point, right? So I'll place it here. I'll draw the circle this way. Next up, observe this. My next task now is that I won't draw that. Um, the the outer um oh you are seeing here. The height today is going to be diameter of 40. So maybe I'll just up of 20. From here to here is 20, half of 40 rather. So at this center, place it one, and lastly, um, up and down this way. So with that two points, I will draw it down with a faint line this way. Next up, a faint line this way. I have this, right? I have this. Sorry, um, please. Um, I will erase the inner line here, and I will erase. The inner line. So what I don't need, what I don't need there is this, right, and this. Ensure that you draw the circle with a thick, with a what, a ticking line, right? A thick circle, right? This one is good. So I have this. I have this. Next up, uh, my next task here is that um, I will take my set square i've drawn out the plan this way um to draw up the elevation i'll take this down this way i'll come to this side i will extend this down this way now i'll give a distance right i'll give a distance so given a distance i'll have something like this i'll take in this part that's my first tax sticking that's the elevation i'll take in it next up um the entire height of the figure of that elevation is going to be what um that should be 90 that's 90 from here to here is 90 and it's ticking so i'm ticking it i have this so next up i will close it up this way close it up this way i can't close this up because there's another pipe connected to this right so how do i get that <clears throat> observe that there's an height of what 35 somewhere up here so measure out 35 or perhaps at the center measure 35 here from here this is zero um 35 is at this section here that's my point 35 i'm just draw a horizontal line to pass through that point this way now this is my point 35 at that point there's what an angle of 60 degree this is the initial this is let's assume this is zero degree down like this is 60 degree 
So how do I know that? I will take my set square. I mean this man, this one, right? I will take it in this manner. So take it this way to draw um the sixty. Sorry, take it this way to draw the sixty. This way. So it means here is zero. From here to here is what the sixty degree, right? So I haven't drawn this. My next task now is that from year to year, observe this. Year to year is what 60 degree. Why? Because if I'm moving like this now from year, this is zero. Year to year is 90. But I'm moving what in what at the in a clockwise manner. So here becomes zero, here becomes what 60. Right? So that's how it works. So I haven't draw this. My next task now is that if you observe closely. Distance from here to somewhere here is 60. So I'll measure out 60. 60. So measure out 60. From here to somewhere here is 60. This is my 60. Um, I'll take my place my compound my third square this way. Observe. I'll, I'll draw this this way. I measured earlier, I measured 20 up, 20 down. The same way, I will measure out 20. Um same 20 I did here initially and um, 20 down here. Okay, so just measure it for accuracy sake. I measure out 20, which is this up and down at this part. So then I will take it down this way. The thick line, take this one to down with a thick line. Next up, I'll close it up. Close it up. I close this part here to up. This part up. So I have this. I have this. So what's my next tax? To cover, to thicken this part now. Thicken this part. So I have successfully what they reproduce out um, what is at the right hand side of the screen. But um, our first tax is to draw the arc of what interpenetration, the curve. That will be actually produced when these two pipes link together. So when they meet together, there's a curve that will to, to produce that we call it arc of interpretation. So to do that, what do you do first? The first act is that I will come to this edge here, somewhere far here, right? I'll draw uh, a horizontal line, a vertical line. Sorry, I will extend this center line here. A little bit right so observe this I will draw a semicircle at this section here a semicircle this way right so I'll take it at this point here one two observe at this part one and also at this part two so divide it into two sequel parts that's the concept so I will ensure I will join them together to meet the center, to meet the center, to meet the center, and this to meet the center. So let's call this 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm done. Next up, I will give a distance to these two. I'm just start from here. Let's start from here. A distance of perhaps here. Yeah, same start from here. Now I will draw that same same circle I drew initially from here. Same circle. I have this. The same way, divide into six equal parts. One. Right. Two. Um. Three. Um, four right this way so turn it together by join point um, join this point to this one join this point here to this two um, join this point to this three join this to this four since you start with three start with zero zero one two three two one zero I have this Right, so I haven't done this. My next task is to start um, 
taking point to touch the circumference of this circle, circumference of the circle here. Take two to touch the circumference of the circle. Take one, the same way. Three is already drawn to touch this. So take two to touch the circle of the circle. Also project one to touch the circumference of the circle. Zero is already projected. Uh, project this point one to touch the circumference of the circle. Uh, project point two to touch the circumference of the circle. I have this. Next up, the same way, what I use to draw this, which is this. So I'll start projecting points. This is point zero inward. Project point one inward. Project point two inward. Point three is already being what projected. Uh, project point two inward. Project point one inward. And finally, project zero inward this way. Right? So what do I do next? My next task is that observe this is for three, right? This is for three, this is for two, this is for two, this is for one, and this is for one. Finally, this is for zero. Yeah, note that. So now, what do I do? Let's start with three. This is three and three. Join them together down. My point three is meeting at this point, so I will take in this part here. Three touches three. Next, up, let's move to two. I'll take two downward. Two is at this point. Two here. Under two is at this point. Under two here. Proceeding. Next up, move to one. This is one. Which is one? And still one. Two is one at this point. And also one at this point. Finally, point zero is already what the projected already. So I have zero to be here. That's my zero here, and that's zero to be here. So with the help of my French curve, I will um connect this um part together. Right. So um doing that, if I connect part together uh, with my French curve. I'm having this as well. So this will be the arc of interpenetration, or perhaps the arc of intersection that will be that will be what created when these two pipes fit in together. So to avoid the spillage of water, that's the concept. Now next up, I need to produce out um the circle here, right? A hole. If I look at this from the top. There will be a hole here, I'll be seeing that hole, you want to repeat, repeat that hole here at this point here. So how do you do that? How do you, so how do you create that hole? First ask, I will take all points upward this way. This is for zero, right? So just trying to show you. So let's start with this point. Alright, I will take this point upward this way. I have this. Next up, this next point. I'll take it upward. Next up, this one. I'll take it up. Our aim is to produce out that hole that is there. Next up, take this upward. Next up, I'll take this upward. Next up, take this upward. Finally, I'll take the last point upward. I have this. Now, observe, please. This is for zero. This one's for zero. Right? So and this also is for zero, and zero is at this point. This is this last one for zero. This last point for zero. Taking it this way. This one and the next one here yeah, are for one one. So this next line here yeah, is for one. I'm seeing one here. Yeah. I'm also seeing one here. Yeah. Next up, I'm seeing one. Observe one at this point. One at this point. Right, next up, the next line is for um two. And I can see two here. Right? So this next line is for two. This is two. And I can also see two here. Next up, see two. Also see two here. And lastly, zero zero. Oh, sorry. And lastly three is here. And at this point here. So with the help of my French curve, I will produce out that curve. Right? <coughs> And just um, use this to perhaps put it. Can produce it. Right. Right. 
Alright, so I have this. Alright, so I will use my this coil to join this thick line. Also, I join this this one there the thick line. So we have successfully reproduced that towards the right hand side of the screen. Right to be this. We found this class helpful. Do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you. Welcome to Wise Link Academy.